Welcome back. March is National Kidney Month. It's a time to think about the disease and schedule a, a checkup with your doctor. Good reminder. And joining us this morning, someone who knows all too well the importance of getting that screening, NBA great and broadcaster, Sean Elliott. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, just to give you folks a little background here, uh, Sean, you were diagnosed with kidney disease early on in your career. Mm -hmm. uh, you also became the first NBA player to return from a kidney transplant. When did you realize that something was wrong? Uh, I was after that 92-93 season. We had come off a tough loss to the Phoenix Suns, and uh, for the next two weeks or so, I thought actually I was depressed. That was the mm. biggest thing. I was having trouble getting out of bed. I lost my appetite. Uh, I was really lethargic. Uh, but r what really alarmed me is I started to retain a lot of water. So mm. I had a lot of water in my legs. I could feel it. I had a lot of water in my hands. And what finally prompted me to go to the doctor is I woke up one morning and had trouble opening my eyes because my face was so swollen. So then I went, finally, I went to the doctor and I said, hey, look, something's wrong. But it was something that had been uh, really brewing for a long time. And that's the danger with kidney disease. A lot of people yeah. are walking around right now and they don't know it. As a matter of fact, one in seven U.S. adults have kidney disease and they don't know it. That's 35 million Americans, Mike. Wow, that's so that's a lot of people. Nine out of 10 of those people have no idea that they have kidney disease right now. And again, I mean, I think you're proof positive. It, you're a professional athlete, <laughs> so it really can happen to anybody. Yeah, I mean, I was 25 years old. I was entering my prime, and <laughs> right. I go to the doctor, and he's like, hey, something's wrong with your kidneys. I was like, come on. I mean, I just finished playing a whole season in the playoffs. You know, how can I be impacted by that? Thankfully, like, for somebody like you, you're very in tune with your body. Not everybody is. Right. Um, right. When you went and got that screening, I, I imagine they told you, thank goodness you caught it as early as you did. Because screening, that, that can change everything. Well, early screening is a game changer, obviously. The problem with kidney disease is you don't know you have it until the symptoms present themselves. And when they yeah. do present themselves, already it's advanced. And so for me, uh, if I had been more on top of that, I probably could have nipped it in the bud a little bit earlier, even though I ended up playing the next six or seven years or so with kidney disease and it was pretty much under control until I couldn't control anymore in 99, and that's when I had to have my transplant. I gotta imagine, uh, just like anything with any certain <laughs> types of disease, there's certain segments of the population that probably are more affected than others. Yeah, if you're a person of color, you're black American, you're Latin American, uh, Pacific Islander, you have diabetes or you have high blood pressure, especially uh, those two are uh, contributing factors. So uh, I had high blood pressure pretty much my entire career. I had high mm. blood pressure. First time I got a physical at 11 years old, I had wow. high blood pressure, imagine that. And so if you're walking around with high blood pressure, uh, again, and you have diabetes, uh, you're a person of color, and even if you don't fall in that category, you're still at risk, uh, you should get an early checkup because right now we're in the golden age of medicine. Yeah. I mean, look at Scott Pollard. He, you know, he's an inspiration. It's another I mean, that's, great story. That's showing you what is possible nowadays. So get on top of it early. All right, real quick, we'll get you out on this. I know you're in town. You're uh, commentating on the <laughs> Spurs Kings game tonight. No right. Victor Wimbenyama. Yeah. Uh, but this yeah. is still going to be a big test uh, for Sacramento as well as the Spurs. Yeah. You know, whenever Victor doesn't play, I always feel for the the fans, the yeah. away fans, because we, they don't get a chance to see him like we do all the time. I mean, he's just so much fun to watch. Uh, he's, he's just freakish, uh, but you know, without having him in the lineup tonight, we're still going to have to find a way to control Fox and Sabonis, which no one's really been able to do no. that. And uh, you know, maybe our key to the game tonight is controlling a guy like Malik Monk and Kevin Herter because those guys can go off on you. But it should still be a fun game. The Kings are a fun team to watch. It's a great yeah. atmosphere in this arena here, uh, one of the best in the league. So uh, our guys have to bring it. They have to be mentally prepared. All right, it's going to be a good showdown. We always appreciate your time, Sean Elliott. Thank you so much for your time Anytime. this morning. Anytime. Thanks for having me. All right.